We have new developments tonight on an issue that's hitting all of us hard right now. Inflation. We told you about the rising cost of groceries and even furniture and appliances. Inflation's hitting just about everything, including cars, and now even the tires they ride on. News 5's Bob Jones hit the road in the rubber city looking at the impact that increase is having on garages and their customers. If you've needed new tires lately, you may have experienced sticker shock. One dealer told us the price for four tires has jumped between $120 and $200, depending on the size and type, since last fall. Retailers feeling the pressure of the price they're paying for tires. At Hammond Tire and Auto Service in Akron, inflating rubber is the name of the game. But it's soaring inflation that has the shop talking. The price that we're paying for tires has went up exponentially, um, and it is a month-to-month -month problem. General Manager Michelle McCurdy says tires are normally filled to the ceiling in her warehouse, but there are much fewer in the inventory because of a tire shortage. It's not a fun time to be in tires, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Michelle says shipping channel delays, supply chain issues, and a worker shortage in the industry are all contributing to the struggle, and cost for tires keeps rising. On top of that, a freight charge that was $500 in the fall is now between eight and 10 grand. For Hammond, that means a purchase of 1,000 tires that was $46,000 is now much more. But if we would order it now, we would be closer to the 70, 80,000 range. So it's about doubled. Michelle says she's left with no choice to pass that cost on to her customers. Even their economy price tires jumped from $388 to $580 for a set of four. Unfortunately for us, we can't absorb all of that too. And again, it's that trickle down effect. I think this is going to be an issue for a while. We're going to have some stickiness uh, with the pandemic, with fixing supply chains. Amanda Weinstein, an associate professor of economics at the University of Akron, says an increased demand from consumers is also playing a role in inflated prices. We've all started driving more, and with driving more comes an increased use in tires. And so over the past two years where we weren't driving as much, we didn't have as many need to replace those tires. It has been a rough road for this tire dealer, but in the rubber city, Michelle hopes for a bounce back. But when? If you get that answer, please let me know, because I would love to know. <laughs> In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. Thanks, Bob. And speaking of tires, today Goodyear had an earnings call, and some of the news about this year's outlook has the company's stock tumbling. It fell 25%. That's the worst showing since Black Monday in 1987, according to Market Watch. This comes even though the CEO of Goodyear says sales are robust. Rich Kramer said Goodyear saw a 40% increase in sales on that call, which is a little more than $5 billion during that fourth quarter earnings report today. Kramer said that marked Goodyear's highest fourth quarter revenue in a decade. Still, though, the CEO pointed to challenges when it comes to overcoming cost inflation. To address cost pressures and supply chain challenges, we've remained agile. During 2021, we've implemented a series of price increases. We're also adding new suppliers, substituting materials when possible, and optimizing distribution costs. Kramer says he expects cost pressure to persist over the next several quarters now, and that this year the company's cash flow would be around break-even. 